Hello, this is Solar PV TV from InterSolar Europe 2016 from Munich. And uh, we are together with Matthias Altieri, managing partner of uh, Minerva Capital Partners. And uh, this interview is for our series of uh, solar pioneers in private. Hello, Matthias. Hello, Thomas. Thanks for being with you. First, I would like to start about your history in the, in the solar industry. Oh, Thomas, uh, now I have to, uh, to think back. I started in, in solar, I think, almost 10 years ago. I uh, just came there uh, by a headhunter. I met Anton Milner, one of the three founders of uh, QCells. My director at Epia. <laughs> okay, so we have something in common. Um, yeah, I started there almost 10 years ago. And uh, when QCells was a very young, strong, growing company, I liked the business because I came from uh, automotive industry and then I worked for Ang American, which is a very strong mining company. So um, let's say I was an industrial guy coming to a new business. I was really impressed and I liked that uh, business. You know, afterwards, you switched, uh, let's say, from the manufacturing, from the industry to the financial community. Yeah, yeah that was uh, also due to and thanks to the trust of uh, those people and especially from the top management of QCells. And uh, Anton just said, Matthias, uh, you speak a little bit of Italian, try your best. And we were succeeding. We entered the market uh, with a nice young team. We grew a lot and yeah, that was successful. But later you switched to the financial community. Yeah, yeah as uh, everybody who is a little bit longer in the industry uh, might remember that uh, QCells also struggled due to a lot of reasons. And then I went to one of the biggest customer of QCells where we, um, we met them in, in the States, so it was a German-based uh, company, Thomas Lloyd, which are still successful on the market. And uh, let's say the Mr. Thomas Lloyd, he asked me to join with the team and I transformed Thomas Lloyd from a financial advisor to a principal. Then uh, two years ago with the same management team, um, we decided um, to do it our own. Now I would like to ask you to go even more back with your memories. So uh, when we are children, we are dreaming to become, I don't know, doctor, uh, warrior, like Sean Chu from Q uh, Canadian Solar, or maybe some musician. And uh, what was your dream? Oh, Thomas, so this is a quite a difficult question because it's already a couple of years ago. But I think I wanted to be always a little bit a kind of entrepreneur. I want also in my my professional career, I, I'm an aeronautical engineer, I have an MBA in, in business. So um, I always try to mix things and um, I always want to, to put something in place, to, to create something. And um, once I reach that goal, um, I'm not a, let's say, I'm not the perfect administrator. So uh, after you put something in place, put people together, define some processes, most uh, important are the interfaces between processes. I try to look for a new challenge. And uh, I think at that time, I, I lived in Vienna at that time. I, I simply moved to Leipzig, which is a very small city in Germany. And I, I, I like to be challenged in my life. So you are like a workaholic, work maniac, or you have also time for some hobby? No, no, I, I, am, uh, I like to work, especially in my business or in solar. Um, I take my time. I'm privately. I'm. I, I appreciate due to my study. I'm a pilot, so I take my time to fly. Uh, I take my time for family and for myself. So, what is your hobby actually? Um, I like to uh, to travel a lot. Even though just for business we travel a lot. I have a participation in a small vineyard, so I like wines. I like good food. And from let's say a more which challenged your brain. I, I was, when I was a student, I was a city guide of Rome. Ah. So I like the, we call that the Papal Rome. Okay. So uh, Matthias, you are also um, involved in uh, Solar Business Club, yes? especially with the connections um, between uh, solar community and financial community. And uh, why do you think it's so important that, uh, you know, we discussed uh, just a few minutes ago in the panel discussion about this age to age? Why this age to age, which means uh, human to human relationship is so important, especially in the solar and financial community? Yeah, first of all, I, I think age to age, and I really like this word because it shows the right direction of how to treat 
um, in nowadays. Um, I think the in every business, if it's financial driven, if it's a production business, if it's whatever it is, you have to define and solar took a long a long time to define processes mm -hmm. and to define structure and especially now when I reach this uh, financial world where I run my own uh, fund let's say it's important to see how you documentate how you define those processes how you structure yourself and the age to age which is key to success is how you manage those interfaces and Interfaces, I think the best thing is to manage them, not by an algorithm, but by H2H. H. Now let's switch from the more private side also to the, to the business that you are running. So which is Minerva actually? Our mission and vision is to become one of the global leaders as an IPP. Uh, we want to be present in uh, Europe, so uh, in Italy, in Germany. We are present uh, in Southeast Asia, on emerging markets, we focus on Cambodia, Myanmar, Vietnam, Philippines, Indonesia. And we have a small footprint in uh, Middle and South America. What we do, we invest, we are purely financial advisor. However, with a very strong understanding of development, EPC business components, and uh, of course, of uh, how to finance and exit a project. So this is... Um, because the team actually uh, is coming initially, let's say, uh, from the QSELS background. Yeah? Exactly. In QSELS, uh, our management, especially one of my partners, Marco Schulz and uh, Anton Milner, who run their own business very successfully, they understood very early that we have to build power plants. And therefore, we all concentrated on power generation. And I think uh, this is the right business to be in. But you are not only active in solar, yes? No, exactly, Thomas. I, uh, our company, we focus on three technologies, proven technologies, which is solar, wind and biomass. Okay. So what is your feeling about uh, the current status of the solar industry, the markets, and how do you see the future? I think the, the most uh, important thing I, I, I felt this year is that people are motivated again. Last year it was not a nice situation, so I was really thinking, Thomas, and thanks to your invitation I attended, um, that things are moving. We have um, solar, as we learned, and if, as everybody now knows that solar is grid parity, so we can produce power in a very, very, very competitive way. Um, solar is a very easy way to generate power, it's a very cheap way to generate power, and it's not a, it's not, um, rocket science i mean what we see here it's it's an easy way of generating power and i think uh, we have a lot of uh, sun in the world we have learned in uh, france that at cop 21 we have to do something so solar and wind are the right products for power generation and i think if you go to emerging markets we have to help to help people locally to stay in their country to um, to realize that uh, with power you, you grow your own business, you grow your future and, and this is the way with solar and wind we can do easily. So Matthias, also today, um, you thanks to you we increased our solar family because you brought uh, uh, one of the best uh, football players from Belgium and uh, also former trainer of the under 21 uh, national football team. Uh, to our solar community. What was the idea behind that, uh, Matthias, that you, you are bringing to solar, let's say, people who are not from the industry, but you know, from the other, let's say, areas? Good question, Thomas. I, um, in uh, the people who trust Minerva, the people who wants to invest in Minerva, they are coming from retail business. So it's, it might be your mother, it might be your best friend. They trust us money, so we call that retail. So they invest in, in uh, in Minerva, then I, I just uh, created a product uh, for the semi-institutional world, mm -hmm. and um, and I now I'm I'm focusing a little bit on this. Uh, we we call them qualified investor, mm -hmm. so they are young sports people, especially football player, which start to earn money, mm -hmm. and now also they are praying. They change. They are listening to the market. They are 
they know what is going on. They want to do something sustainable, ah. and they want to do some to to invest because you know a football player, he's good from uh, 18 up to 30, 35, whatever. We have some football player who reach even 40. However, it's it's their the is asset is in the legs, and the time is very limited. So they want to be sure that their money, which they earn hard, is invested well. So. Uh, we invited uh, Johan to join our team. He he looks for new challenges, and he is very sure that he can bring a lot of good business, a lot of people to our team, and also that we provide them with something which is really good and green and clean. And they can also contribute with their money to the future. Eh? Exactly, they contribute to uh, to the future, and they earn money. This is also important. And I think also it's quite interesting because we are getting, thanks to that, additional solar ambassadors yeah, who are famous amongst the uh, general public. Yes, that, uh, Thomas, I think that is a good and great idea. And feel free to contact me because uh, now traveling, traveling a little bit with uh, Johan, um, I, I met a lot of uh, famous, really famous football players. And... Um, yeah, it, 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 it might be a, a great opportunity to invite them and to, to discuss with us and uh, to have an ambassador in, in, in this business. Uh, thanks for coming and also sharing with us your thoughts, but also bringing Johan to our solar community. Thank you so much. Thank you, Thomas. Have a good day. That was Solar PV TV together with Matthias Altieri, managing partner of Minerva Capital Group.